In this video, you're going to practice writing an equation in slope-intercept form given a graph. So we want to remember that y equals mx plus b is our slope-intercept form. And in order to write this in slope-intercept form from a graph, we need to identify the slope and the y-intercept, and then we can write our equation. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to our first example here for number 7. Looking at this graph, if we want to find the slope, slope is going to be our rise over run. We need to pick two points and identify what the rise over run is. So remember, rise, if you're going up, it's a positive slope. If you're going down, it's a negative slope. And run is always to the right. So let's come up with our slope. So when I look at my graph, I can see one point here on the y-axis, and what you want to identify that point as is your y-intercept. You don't always have to use that point, but it is helpful when you are trying to find the slope and write the equation. So if I have one point here on the y-axis, I want to move along my line, and I want to notice this is in between whole numbers, and I don't want to choose that point. My next point that I can choose is right here. So you can see that the origin is down here at the bottom. Over here to the right is 1. So I'm going to find my rise over my run. So here my rise is going to be up 2 and over 1. So if my rise is up 2, right 1, rise is going to be up 2 my run is 1, so that can simplify to positive 2 for my slope. Now let's go ahead and find B, which is the y-intercept. Anytime you need to find the, the B or the y-intercept, you want to focus on looking at that y value where it crosses on the y. So here, you can see it crosses on my y at positive 1. So if I know m is positive 2 and b is 1, I can write my equation as y equals 2x plus 1. And this is what we wanted to get to. We had to take the state steps in finding the slope first and then identifying the y-intercept. And then we can write our equation in y equals mx plus b form. So again, to find b, you're going to look at the y-axis, and you're only writing the value. You don't have to write it as a point, 0, 1. We're just writing the y value to indicate b. Slope, we're finding our rise, which was 2, over run, which was 1. So 2 divided by 1 is 2, so our slope is 2. If you need more time, go ahead and pause. I'm going to move on to a second example. Okay, here's example number eight. So again, if we want to write the equation, we need to find m, our slope, b, the y-intercept, and then we can write our equation. And our equation is going to be in y equals mx plus b form. Okay. So if you'd like, you don't have to go in the same order. If you'd like to find B first by looking at the y-intercept, you can do that. And then you can go back and say, okay, what is my rise over my run? Whatever is easier for you to do. In this example, I'll go ahead and do that. Since we need that point to find our slope, we can go ahead and focus in on the y. And when you look at the y-axis, you can see that this line crosses at positive 4. So this is going to be my b. Now, in order to find the slope, which is rise over run, I have one point on my y-intercept, and I need to move along this graph and find another point where it intersects as a whole, whole number. So I can either use this point here or this point over here. It does not matter. So we can go ahead and use this point right next to it. So now I want to identify, is my line going up or down from left to right. So you're going to notice your graph is going down from left to right. If you put a marble down here, it's going to roll down. So that indicates that my slope is negative. 
So if I go down one, right two, it's gonna give me my slope. So my rise is a negative one because I went down one. My run is a positive two. So to write my slope, which is rise over run, my slope is gonna be a negative one over two. So since my run is, my rise is negative, the whole entire fraction becomes negative when you write your equation. So your equation is gonna be y equals negative one half x, because my slope is negative one half, plus four y equals mx plus b. If you need more time, pause the video. I will move on now. And here's one more example. I'm going to have to zoom out here so you can see the entire graph. Again, if you need to write the equation, we need to identify m, the slope, b, the y-intercept, and then we can write the equation. Okay, again, I'm gonna look at B first so that I can use that point in order to find my slope. So if I wanna find B, B is the y-intercept where it crosses on the y. So here, this line is gonna cross at negative two on the y. So B is gonna represent negative two, my y-intercept. My slope is gonna come from my rise over run. So rise over run. So when I look at this graph from left to right, it is increasing, is going up, so that means my slope is positive. So now I just need to find another point on this line that I can um, find at a whole, intersecting at a whole number to find the rise over run. So if I move along this graph, it's gonna look really close right here, but that's not a good point to use because that's not an accurate point. It doesn't cross at one, one. So you continue to move up your graph to find a point where it intersects at a whole number here. It intersects at two comma five. So that's another good point to use. You wanna be careful when you're looking at these graphs to pick your two points for rise over run. So now we're gonna count our rise. It's gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my rise is seven. And my run is to the right, which is two. So since my rise is positive, seven, over two, my run, we don't need to simplify that. Um, we don't need to convert it to a decimal. So now all we have to do is write the equation as y equals m, which is seven over two x, plus b. Since b is negative, we don't need to put plus a negative, it's just a minus two. And we're done. Now it's gonna be your turn to practice. 